first thing you want to do is um, go to uh, GPT Zine, okay? Um, create a new campaign. So a new campaign is going to ask you for a campaign name, a brand name. So this is the name of your uh, product, uh, a product or service description. So, you know, if you sell services, just write a couple of lines about, you know, what your service is. Or if you sell products, just write a few lines about what your products are. Um, this goes as the uh, system prompt in, in ChatGPT. Um, so, so, so it's useful to put good information there because it's going to be uh, used uh, by, by the AI to create your content. Um, niche, uh, which what is your niche? The audience, then in the style, you have a bunch of uh, writing styles. Uh, different tones and you can choose your language all right so this is what i did for this campaign here if i go to edit i can see the campaign is for a yogi uh, a yoga studio called yogi studio which is a yoga studio for busy women um and here are my parameters so pretty straightforward the next step is going to be um to um, select uh, what you want to create. So in this case, we're going to do a lead magnet. So um, this is already selected here and then scroll down and I'm going to click uh, refresh here. So in your case, you might have to click generate first if you don't have anything, but I already had some text. So if I go to my gallery and then go to uh, GP design here, add a couple of them actually. I had yoga at your desk, simple stretches. Um, so this one is good. Okay, so let's uh, copy this. All right, so now I have the content for my uh, ebook. So next, uh, let's go into flat design and we can generate some uh, illustrations. Okay, so I'll just type uh, yoga studio. I'm going to generate a 16 by 9 image. Okay, so what we're doing here is we're generating an image which is going to serve as the, the main illustration in our Google Doc. So I'm going to open Google Docs here in a new window while this is loading. Okay, and I'm going to paste my uh, content here. All right, so uh, yeah, this one is great. So I'm just going to go for this image. So I'm going to save it first, then go to uh, my gallery here. And uh, I'm going to upscale that image so that it's high resolution enough. All right, so uh, that should do it for the uh, imagery. So now I'm going to go um, to this document here. So I'm going to paste the title. And then I'm going to paste, insert an image from computer. I'm going to paste the first image here. Um, and then I'm going to do some formatting. Again, obviously you want to make sure the content is good and read for the content and maybe, uh, you know, had your own spin to it. So it's, it's never a good idea to just use chat gpt text as is you always want to you know put a bit of work um but yeah that's that's pretty much the extent of it now, nowadays creating lead magnets is um, incredibly easy um so let's move to the next step so we're going to create a cover um for this ebook and so for this we're going to go to user and out campus so we're going to select a product cover for the format and so we're going to upload um, the image we generated in flat Um Next, we're going to add a uh, shape here. Uh, I'm going to use a color which is co uh, close to my brand color. So let's say kind of color here, add a bit of transparency. And then I'm going to get that title, create a heading and change the text color and change the font. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much my cover. What I could do if I have one, I have a logo here. I could add a logo for, for my brand, 
just to make it more you know, official. All right, cool. So that does the job. So now I'm happy with my cover. I'm just going to download it. And um, that's my cover. So the cover is going to be useful for the landing page, as you will see in a second. Um, the cover is also useful for doing uh, promotions for for this uh, ebook. So if you want to promote it on social media, or if you want to promote it on um, this here on um, yeah email marketing, then what you can do is uh, use Mark sign to turn this cover into um, you know, some kind of photo or realistic mockup. Uh, so to do this, just go to mock sign, upload your image, then go to uh, the stationary section. Uh, you can browse through. And obviously we're looking at vertical images here. So I'll just make sure it's a vertical uh, design. If it's um, horizontal like this one, you see it's gonna stretch out. All right, I'm going to stick to this one. So then once you're happy with it, just click on download and, you know, I can call it a cover mockup. Okay. So then, um, I have it saved, um, in my, on my desktop and I can easily use it to, uh, promote this ebook. I can post about it on uh, social media. Um, I can integrate this image to an email. If I send some email to my, uh, community. And yeah, it's just a great way to um, to visualize and to represent your ebook is to uh, run it through MugSign and, and generate uh, a mockup like this. All right, um, I'm gonna start by uh, showing you the the concept, uh, the layout, because obviously depending on which um, landing page builder you use, um, the 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 actual steps to generate the landing page will be different. Uh, but the principles will be the same, like, right? and this is the layout that we are uh, trying to achieve. And I'm going to show you a real example in a second of this layout. Um, so what you have is um, first at the top, you have an, annou an announcement bar. And this is where we put some high level uh, benefit about, you know, what our, our lead magnet offers. Uh, next, we have a catchy free headline. So this is uh, usually, you know, get this free book, get this free report, uh, um, get this free training or free training for you, something with the word free in it. Uh, next, we have the catchy title. So this is where we'll use the title of our ebook. Um, next, we have some um, scarcity or urgency that we can put right below. Then we have the input field. Um, then we have a call to action button. So to sign up. Next, we have a privacy or secure statement, and then we have a testimonial. So ideally, obviously, if you don't have any testimonials, then just skip this part. Uh, but if you do have one, just, uh, you know, put that one testimonial here. Um, this will really help in making the page uh, more appealing. And finally, you have your footer with your kind of le legal um, elements, so terms of service, privacy, and contact us but so that people can get in touch with you if anything um and i think this is a re if you're doing ads uh, most ad platforms i think would require and you you know provide a way to contact you and a terms of service and a privacy policy so uh, just to put this there um so let's see the uh, thank you page it's pretty much the same here we just replace the the other button with a download okay so that's the high level concept of the opt-in page that works pretty well. Um, let's see how it looks. Um, so how it look uh, practically speaking. So here you have again the announcement bar, the pre-headline, the headline, the scarcity or urgency. So here we have free for a limited time. Um, the uh, input field, the button, um, testimonial and, and the um, security kind of privacy. And then here you have the le legal terms, legal aspects. And on the left, you have your cover image. 
And so, yeah, this layout works great for, you know, because of this kind of the way it's organized, uh, was great on uh, desktop and on mobile, you would have the cover image uh, first and then the, um, uh, this input field, input area here. Okay. Um, so how did we do it? So we used uh, kick pages to do this. So kick pages is, um, it's a landing page builder. Um, but again, you can, you can achieve this in, um, in pretty much any landing page builder, whether it's a builder role, uh, Elementor, DV, uh, group files, you know, Laren says Elementor. Uh, Elementor is pretty good and I've seen they've done a lot of big updates this year. So that would work fine as well. So again, this is a section at the top with a colored background. Um, this is some text. Um, so a big trend this year um, in, in copywriting is the use of emojis. Um, so you can see here, I'm using an emoji here. I'm using an emoji for this button. I'm using another emoji for this uh, green dot here. So if you can, I recommend you incorporate them. I think they, they, they make pages look great. Uh, they make pages look a bit more interesting. And, uh, you know, according to um, experts like the guys at conversionwise.com, um, they do uh, lift up conversions, although I haven't tested it myself. Um, you can get emojis from emojipedia.org. Um, this is a great website, uh, very useful. Um, I use it all the time to get uh, emojis. So you can just copy whatever emoji you have here and then and go back to to your uh, design and just paste it here. Um, so that's pretty much the idea. So you have two columns here. Uh, one is uh, the image on the right. So let's actually update with our um, current image. All right, so you have the image here on the left and on the right, you have uh, a little bit of text. Um, and yeah, then you connect it to your autoresponder. So yeah, that's the landing page. And next we have the thank you page. Um, this is when people have put their email. So depending if you use a single opt-in or double opt-in, uh, depending on where you are based in the world, um, either you give them access to this page directly or you say something, you know, uh, check your email or access. Usually the, the two ways you'll, you'll do this. Uh, then you have your download button and it's essentially the same page. So, uh, so yeah, that's the idea. That's how you can create a, a lead magnet, um, pretty fast, um, including the, uh, opt-in page and thank you page, um, the content, um, some imagery to make it look good and some, uh, and a cover. Um, in very little time, like these days, uh, creating this type of content is very easy. It used to be a pain to find ideas, to create the content, to create the imagery and so on. And now it's just became very easy.